Friday, February 18th was the last day to file for a place on the City of Waco ballot for the May 7th, 2022 City of Waco general election. Positions on the City of Waco ballot include City of Waco Mayor, Council District 1 and 3. District 2 special election filing period is still currently going on and will end on Monday, March 7th at 5 p.m. Mayor incumbent Dylan Meek filed on January 19th, and District 3 incumbent Josh Borderu filed on January 19th. Both have no challengers. District 1 incumbent Andrea Bearfield, an executive director, filed on January 25th, running against Bearfield is retired Ephraim Herring that filed on February 18th, and retired Russell Rhodes that also filed on February 18th. So far for District 2 incumbent Alice Rodriguez, nonprofit executive director, filed on February 8th. Her challengers right now are Armando Arvizu, a caregiver that filed on February 2nd, and Tiffany Vidana, a substitute teacher that also filed on February 2nd. For election day polling locations, contact the city secretary's office at 750-5750. We're able to get an occupied structure or an unoccupied structure that has been damaged in fire, uh, especially through um, working working with or, or a business or, or a homeowner or, uh, in this case, Waco ISD, they're, they're more than happy to let us go in there and do some training, learn from what we uh, did and didn't do right on the fires, uh, and then we were able to take something like a structure like that that we don't always run uh, fire calls in and be able to use it before it's demolished and we're able to uh, gain some training opportunities that way. We were, we were focusing in on forcible entry uh, due to the amount of doors that are there. So uh, practice and forcible entry with our tools there. And then we did a RIT drill, which is a rapid intervention team uh, using a pack and we, we staged a down firefighter uh, in, a, in a position that they were entangled or run about out of air. And so what we do is we go inside and we use our pack and our training to be able to locate that firefighter and remove them in a safe and efficient manner uh, to get them to safety if they go down in the, in the course of their duties. When we're able to acquire structures, uh, of course it's a huge community loss anytime that we lose something like GW Carver. But with, with the actions of the school district so graciously letting us come in there and use it for a purpose for the good, we're able to gain a lot of uh, training opportunities that normally we wouldn't have. our very first crime prevention summit which is just giving the community a opportunity to come here interact with our officers in a more candid way but also give them tips and tools to help just keep their neighborhoods their homes businesses and themselves safe we have multiple different vendors here from different businesses around the community that specialize in safety and security our presentations are held by different Waco police officers and also McLennan County Sheriff's Office and also Unbound and it's going to range from human trafficking to travel safety, burglary and theft prevention, internet security and all things like that. Chief Victorian has been very big in giving the community more ways to interact with us, giving our officers more ways to interact with the community in a more candid and relaxed way. And this is just really big into community policing. We want to give the community a time to come here, sit with us, and ultimately provide a safer wake up. February is American Heart Month. Did you know that every 40 seconds in the United States, someone has a heart attack? Heart attacks happen when a part of the heart muscle does not get enough blood. They can also be caused by several things, coronary artery disease, spasms of the heart, or the sudden blockage of an artery. The longer that heart goes without blood, the greater the damage. Recognizing and reacting to the signs and symptoms of a heart attack can mean the difference between life and death. Be sure to call 911 immediately. It could save a life. The Waco McLennan County Public Health District pushes out awareness campaigns for heart health throughout the month of February, covering how to keep your heart healthy, knowing signs and symptoms of a heart attack, and the importance of calling 911. There is also a National Wear Red Day. So if you are in need of any heart health information, stop by the Waco McLennan County Public Health District for pamphlets and brochures.